In this video, we'll see how to add special finishes to your Packly box, such as metallic foil and spot varnishing. Go to File, Open, select your Packly die line, choose to load only the first page, then confirm. Today we will be working with the following Adobe Illustrator windows, swatches, attributes, separations preview, and layers. Return to File, Open, select your file. We prepared a simple vector logo for this tutorial. Select all. Now edit, copy. Return to your die line. Rename the corresponding layer. In the layer options, select new layer. This layer is for your artwork. Go to edit. Paste. Resize the logo if necessary, then drag it onto your box. In this case, we need to rotate it 90 degrees. With your logo selected, go to align selection, and select align to artwork. Then click on vertical align center. In the layer options create another layer for the embellishment. Take the black arrow tool, and click on any green line in your die line path. Now move to select. Same. Stroke color, go to object. Path. Join. Then go to edit. Copy. Move to the artwork layer. Edit. Paste in place. Choose a background color for your box. Go to Object. Arrange. Send to Back. To keep seeing your die line, drag the artwork layer below the other two. Now go to the die line layer. Select. All. Adjust the stroke thickness until you see your die line clearly. Select the graphical elements you want to turn into metallic foil. Go to Edit. Cut. Paste them in place in the embellishment layer. Select the first element. Go to the swatches options. New swatch. For silver foil, you'll need to name the swatch race silver foil. You should pay extra attention the name is spelled exactly as shown in this tutorial, complete with dashes and caps. Set color type to spot color. Set a placeholder color of your choice. Now go to the Attributes window and select over Print Fill. Pick the next element, and assign the race silver foil spot color to it. You can check if the overprint is on by going in the Separations Preview window. Now let's create a simple decoration for the spot varnish by drawing small circles with the Ellipse tool. Assign a spot color to the circle by going to the Swatches window. Create a new swatch. This time call it Raised Spot Varnish. Remember to pay close attention to the spelling. Group the circles. Go to the Align menu and click on Vertical Align Center. As before, you can check if the overprint is enabled by going to the Separations Preview. Lastly, go to File, 
Save as. Save your file with a high quality print Adobe PDF preset. Confirm with Save PDF.